Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for new missions and it's the Pike Hunt 2 Shed Jig Bait. So you guys saw that I just got the trophy chain Pickerel in uh, Quinchkin Lake in Louisiana. So what you need to do is you need to fish with the Shed uh, so, uh, and then you need to go to this lake get a trophy chain pickerel above one and a half kilogram then we need to go to white moose lake and get the pike above five kilogram and then we need to get the muskie above 10 and above 15 kilogram i need to say it was not easy it took me some time because first of all i never fish with sheds for uh, pickerel and i know now why i never fish with uh, sheds for pickerel because it's not so good for uh, this fish but at some time, I think after 7 to 8 hours in game, I got it. And I'm going to share with you guys uh, how you need to do it. Because once that you know what you need to do, and uh, that you know a little bit the time frames, because I only know a sunny day uh, in the, the late uh, evening, uh, that you can get the unique. Uh, but now I got the trophy chain Pickerel too, and it's partly cloudy day, it's not sunny day. So let's keep this fellow. So first of all, where do you need to go? So you need to go to Louisiana, of course. So let's reset the pack. So you need to go over here, uh, the Pelican Hut, and then you need to go to the right. So I'm, that's, by the way, the unique chain pickerel position too. So if you go uh, f uh, to the competition, Dancing with Pikes, I think it's called. Uh, we are fishing here, but we are fishing with top water because top water in this game for pike bass is very overpowered. So you need to come over here and you guys just saw it what you need to do. So you need to do a twitching. It's very important that you do twitching because I try to stop and go. And as I already said, it's totally dead. So you guys will see here. Uh, so this is my chain pickerels in 4-5 hours in-game fishing. So I got only two trophies. And I got only four normals. I tested the unique time zone. They are not biting better in that time zone. So it's going to take a long time. Because you need to be very lucky too. Because the trophy is not starting at one and a half. It can go under one and a half too. So my first trophy was not a good one. But my second was a very fat one. I think this is... I think 2 kilogram is the maximum, so I was really lucky to, got, to get a 1.9 kilograms. So what you need to do is be sure that you don't throw in the weeds here, uh, because uh, you're going to get snagged. And you need to do uh, a twitch, a twitching, so it's very easy. So you just go in the air with your rod again, and then you just start reeling in. And if you see the icon go down, you just reel. You can do it really quick. Be sure that you don't go too high. And you can go all the way. You get a trophy chain pickerel uh, in front of your feet and very back at the back. So keep reeling in. Don't stop. Sometimes you got fish that are on a specific place for 20 meters. And then it's not really needed that you reel in the, the whole time. But here I got my first trophy it was like 5 meters in front of me. That's what you need to do, guys. And is this a bite? Is it the... No, it's a largemouth bass again. So you're going to catch a lot of largemouth bass because they like the, the shed too. And this is a fighter. I think it's a trophy. Yes, a trophy one. So for the setup, I'm going to say to you guys a setup. So I'm fishing at the moment with the Jig Winner 270 wide spinning rod because uh, you need to make the distance here too. With my casting rod, my distance was limited to 40 meters, and I'm going, I'm getting trophy chain pickerel further than that. So I'm going with the Jig Winner, Espira MLR uh, 3500 blade line 0.2. Jig head 14 G 2 If you go a little bit higher, the 3 O, you're going to get the unique, uh, but uh, you don't need the unique, so therefore I went with the 2O and 14G only. The shed 7 centimeters, this color, uh, what is it, yellow. And that's all what you need to know, guys. Now I'm going to uh, Alberta, 5 kilogram trophy. 5 kilogram is a very big bike. Uh, they can go to 7 kilogram, but it's a very big bike. I don't have a clue how I need to do it. I know where they are. 
so uh, but I need to figure it out but you guys will see it further in the video Okay guys, I'm now at the White Moose Lake in Alberta and this was a lot easier. So uh, it's not that complicated here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how you need to do it. So I got right away the trophy Northern Pike. I fished for one hour and 20 minutes. So first of all, I'm here now with the bass boat. But do you need to come here with the bass boat? No, you don't need to come here with the boat. But it's a little bit easier because you're going to uh, spawn over there you need to run all the way to here and you can throw from the shore here too and just throw against the log this area and you will get northern pike the whole day long very important too is the day and the time so for the guys that never fish the, the pike tournament we always fish from 12 until 8 i think and you can get every hour one or two trophies but it has to be a sunny day so i started at 1 p.m it's now half past uh, 2 p.m. And uh, I got this in my net. So you can get... It's a lot easier than in Louisiana, this, uh, this fishing. So I don't think it's going to take a lot of time until you got 5 kilogram trophy Northern Pike. My setup, I went now for the heavy setups. Uh, because uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to get them in. And I think if you come over here, you know what you need to do with your setup. So uh, I got a leveling guide too with the setup. So Because it's not always easy. First of all... I want to do it for the low levels to fish with low level gear or, or gear that you can use in the low levels. But if you come in the 30s, uh, the main problem is I need to buy that gear too. And it's way too expensive. And if you come here and you got that level, I think you can make a decent setup uh, by yourself. So I'm fishing with the Zoys Rivertex, the Thunderspin 5500. Braid 0.30, jig head 25G404 works really well for pike here. I think I'm going to use this too for the muskie, maybe a 6.0 hook. And uh, the chat 10 centimeter and uh, what color is it? It's yellow and red tail. So, and then you just need to throw here on the log. That's the position that we uh, yeah, all know where you get the northern pike. So you just need to throw over here and then you just need to do twitching again. And at some point you will get a trophy. I'm sure if you fish one sunny day, uh, in those 8 hours on a sunny day, you can get more than 12, 13 trophy northern pikes. You need to be already very unlucky if you don't get one above 5 kilograms. And that's what you need to do. And if you are on the log, you will see that your lure is going to drop very fast down. I think now, yeah, here we go. Uh, that's because the log is over there. So it's under the water and you're just hitting it with your, uh, with your uh, chat jig head. But that was it for the video guys. Now I'm heading to Michigan to end this uh, mission.
Okay, guys, for the last fish, you need to get a muskie that is bigger than 10 kilograms and bigger than 15 kilograms. And here I got it, the unique muskie, so you can catch it. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the spot uh, because it's very laggy at the moment at Michigan. It was always the case in the past, so I'm not sure that uh, the video is going to be okay. So here you can see it, trophy single spoon, 42G, 4O, a lot of experience, nice money. Yeah, nice, what I'm saying now, it's only 4,000. It's crap money and bait coins. So uh, let's close this. Where do you need to go? So you need to go here to the, the king of the green bay. And then you're going to spawn over there. And then you just need to run all the way to here. And here is the bay. So I'm not going to uh, throw in the water. You need to do stop and go as I just showed you guys. There is one thing that I changed. Uh, that uh, I went to the to the, the, the grass green shed. You need to do stop and go. And uh, for the guys that are not familiar with the muskie, he's only going to buy the trophy and the unique in a certain time zone. So I'm going to put the spreadsheet under this video. You just need to click on it. You will see when it's biting, what the weather type is. And that's it for the video, guys. So that was it. Pike 2 uh, hunt mission, I think it's called. Pike uh, hunt 2 shed jig bait. That's how you need to do it, guys. Full walkthrough. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.